Okay, welcome back to Cafe La Mama Live. Uh, once again, I am Pierce Redman. I'm the front of house supervisor here at La Mama. And I am uh, very excited for tonight's uh, particular Cafe La Mama Live. Uh, this one is a little bit uh, different. I'll actually be sort of taking, hopefully, a bit of a back seat um, hosting tonight because tonight is a very special uh, Cafe La Mama Live. It is a it, it is shelter in Nikki Land, which is of course a uh, a, a popular. Uh, it's a variation on a very popular La Mama show, uh, Christmas in Nikki Land, and also springtime in Nikki Land. Once again, uh, it, it's it is seven o'clock, so you can if you hear some hooting and hollering, uh, please do clap for all of the first responders and, and people out there, uh, you know, working and and really, you know, you, you we should all really clap. Uh, for the people working in grocery stores, because I think it sucked previous to all of this working in a grocery store, and it must really suck now. So definitely clap for all those people working, uh, probably for minimum wage. But anyway, as I said, uh, tonight is a is a special edition of Cafe La Mama because uh, it is it's going to be hosted by Nikki Parizo, who is the uh, program uh, director of. Uh, Oh, he's the curator of La Mama Moves. He's a program director of the club, which hopefully will uh, will will you know will finish renovations on, and Nikki will be back in there uh, programming it with all sorts of interesting shows. And uh, if uh, if you if you don't have your drink, definitely go get one tonight this evening. If anyone is uh, keeping track of the the drinks I've been having tonight, it's I uh, went with an old fashioned, uh, very you know with rye. It's got to be rye with an old fashioned. Um, I did. I was thinking of getting a, a Manhattan because that is Nikki's favorite drink, but I didn't have time. But without further ado, I think I'll, I'll stop rambling on here and I'll introduce uh, the man of the evening who's going to be taking you through uh, a, a wonderfully curated show, uh, Nikki Parizo. So, Nikki, how are you? We're live. Hello, hello. I'm here. I'm here. Yes. I'm. Uh, there's a smile coming onto my face because I can hear all this hooting and hollering outside <laughs> on the streets um, from the coming from the apartment windows of the East Village, and um, for the uh, hospital workers and the first responders and all those people who help us who are helping us get through this very difficult time. And, um, you know, I, I didn't uh, really say to myself, oh, you're going to uh, portray a particular mood tonight, but I'm actually in a good mood because of, <laughs> I can hear all the people, the people who have been sequestering in their apartments, who have been sheltering in, in, in place. And um, as I have been myself, so I want to dedicate it to um, you. I know I can't see you, but I want to dedicate this to you, the audience who have been sequestered in your solitude or your solitudes, your isolation, Perhaps you have been going through a time of reflection, regret, loneliness, and um, a lot of longing, especially if you are a person who lives uh, solitarily uh, by themselves, as I do. So um, I want to dedicate this to parents who are seeing their children move to another state to be with other relatives. I want to dedicate this to children who have lost a parent in a hospital. I want to dedicate this to the artists I have known through the years uh, who have given me solace and hope and uh, hope for the future. And even now, even now during this quarantine, during this pandemic, uh, you give me hope. Uh, uh, we will, we will get through this thing together. So here's a song for everyone. Uh. In this world 
of ordinary people. Extraordinary people. I'm glad there is you. In this world of overrated pleasures, of underrated treasures, I'm glad there is you. I want to live, I live to love, I love to live with you beside me, this role so new. I'd muddle through with you to guide me in this world where many, many play at love and hardly any stay in love. I'm glad there is you. More than ever, I'm glad there is you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sheltering in Nikki Land on this Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. I believe we're in the, oh my gosh, Pierce, correct me if I'm wrong. Are we already in the fourth or fifth uh, week of our sheltering? I believe so. I think um, oh, it's six or seven I, now. Yeah, I want to say I feel like I was looking at my calendar. We were we were uh, we were sort of keeping track of it, and I want to say we're at day like I don't we're near day fifty. I saw that okay. mark on my calendar somewhere, which is sort of a, a, a time has sort of lost a lot of uh, meaning. But yeah, we're we're. I was going to say Nikki, that was a, that was such a, a a sweet opening, and I feel like sometimes in years past. You've uh, you've been a little uh, not negative, but you know you'll you'll be a little bit more bitter about Nikki Land. This one felt very uh, joyous, so that was much appreciated. And also because our good friend John Isendorf just texted me, I want to let everybody know that if they want to support La Mama, you can text La Mama Live. That's all one word to four four three two one. So if anybody wants to to support uh, La Mama, it'd be uh, you know greatly appreciated. But anyway, Nikki, what, you know, Thank you, John. how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Pierce. I'm doing great. I don't know why, but I'm doing great. Maybe because uh, I feel like I'm really trying to communicate to someone or more than one person. And uh, one of the persons that I'm glad that is here, that I'm glad there is you. I am glad there that you are here is my dear, dear friend. John Scott, who is now in his home, in his living room in Dublin, Ireland. It's somewhere in the northern part of Dublin. Oh my gosh, uh, I've forgotten the street name, but uh, uh, John will uh, let us know what that is. And I remember, I think it was two years ago, I was caught in a storm. A, an actual snowstorm in Ireland. And I was on my way to see my dear friend, Mary Louise Burke act at the National Theater. And uh, the, 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 the stop on the way to London was in Dublin. And uh, there were no planes. There were no planes going to London. There was like this little brush, this little dust of snow on the ground and the whole country 
got um, closed down, and um, which goes to show. Hmm, and um, uh, oh, the name of the storm was the Beast from the East. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean, Ireland? But anyway, I love all my dear friends in Dublin, and I've known uh, John since, oh my gosh, the mid-80s, 1986. I met him in London. I was a member of Meredith Monk and Vocal Ensemble, and we, we were performing uh, Turtle Dreams Cabaret. Some of you people say, what references is he, are, are, is he making here? But I'll just keep going. Yes, we were doing Turtle Dreams Cabaret at Dance Umbrella in London, where dear Val Borg was the director. And uh, John came to see the group. He had just taken a workshop in Denmark with Pablo Vela, Andrea Goodman, Bob Ian. And um, and we were boys. We were boys. We were barely in our twenties. So that's how long I've known John. And I'm so thrilled and honored that he would. And it's midnight in Dublin. So <laughs> I'm so thrilled and honored that he would spend this late night with us in New York. Um, and so here he is. Without further ado, my dear friend and colleague, John Scott. I am John Scott. Here I am in Dublin. I am a choreographer. I am a dancer. I'm also an opera singer. my practice. I sing, I think of singing, I think of space, I think of articulating my body. In my latest solo heroes, I integrate my singing body and my dancing body and consciousness to show all of myself and everything that happens in my body, my singing, my voice at the same time. And I dance, I feel the space and I find my voice. In my latest solo heroes, I embody many tragic heroic people from 
different operas, different arias. And now I am going to sing and dance Floristan from Fidelio in confinement. Floristan is released. Floristan is released from the dungeon. And we think, <sighs> soon we will too be released. <sighs> With love for everyone. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Lamama. Thank you, John. Um, yes. Oh my God, that was so beautiful. Is that your? Is that the hallway to the uh, hallway? Yes. Oh uh, my God. As a as a Spanish dungeon. 
Um, <laughs> and actually, my brother and I used to do um, performances in our hallway of my parents' house. So it's not okay. the time I performed in the hall. And where is your, your beautiful dog, Mortimer? Mortimer, um, Mortimer may make a special appearance. All right. Um, let's get Mortimer in. Yes, uh, let's Mortimer, get um, very excited when I sing. So um, we thought it would be good if he waited out in the garden. But Mortimer is here. Say hi. Hey, Mortimer. Oh, my God, he's huge. This is Mortimer. A huge doggy. Oh, Silva. <laughs> and uh, well, I've been spending time time watching Dodo. <laughs> So Mortimer, do you know what Dodo is? <laughs> Try singing, Mortimer. Ne son dorma, ne son dorma. <laughs> Mortimer, you want to sing this number? Vincere, vincere. Okay. So there's more. Oh, John. Everyone <laughs> sends all his love. We all send our. I love love you, and I'm. I know. Uh, John was going to bring his company, Irish Modern Dance Theater, also called John Scott Dance, to La Mama for La Mama Move in May. <laughs> but we had. Oh, that was great, Mortimer! Yay! And um, but uh, we will definitely have you come back next season god the god's willing and god uh, willing yes but thank you john um for for that uh, very generous outpour uh, vocal outpouring um and um i'm so thankful that you're in my life thank you and thanks love to everyone in la mama um, and same to you and all your colleagues and dear colleagues and and your partner hugo um, please uh, send my love and regards. Hugo did the lighting, and uh, Hugo helped conceive the, the the scenography tonight. Oh, thank you, Hugo. A family effort. Okay. Thank you, John. Thank you, Nikki. We'll okay, can't wait to see the rest of the performance. All right. Oh my gosh! Oh, what a what a huge, generous spirit we've all just seen and heard. Um, and now I would like to uh, go on, <laughs> go on to our next guest who has been sequestering in the East Village. And I have known our next guest, Yoshiko Chuma, since the, also since the mid 1980s. And I was and am still a member of her uh, company, the School of Hard Knocks. Um, you could call the whole of New York now the School of Hard Knocks, the, <laughs> the whole world. Um, but uh, Yoshiko has been a great mentor, teacher, and sister to me. And lately, uh, oh, and she's, uh, School of Hard Knocks is celebrating its 40th anniversary come hell or high water this coming fall. So it will be celebrated somehow. And um, lately Yoshiko has been traveling on her own, uh, walking the streets and woods and parks of uh, Manhattan, Manhattan, and Manhattan, Manhattan, and making the most beautiful videos. So I have, Yoshiko, this is some of your most beautiful work, I have to say. And um, so here we are welcoming choreographer, director, Yoshiko Chuma.
Oh, I, I think we have a uh, yeah. Nikki, you just have to unmute. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, Yoshiko, that was so beautiful. Can you tell us something about your uh, traveling around uh, Manhattan uh, during? It was like the silence that we hear every day in our apartments and on our walks around uh, the Lower East Side. Uh, can you tell us something about that? I have an iPhone. Um, I'm shooting maybe, maybe last of seven years. So that's the three weeks. I had a mask, I have a sunglass, and I have a hat. And I'm going to maybe two hours walk or three hours walk or one hours walk. Um, Manhattan is uh, very pretty. So kind of my focus is uh, along uh, East River. They have a Williamsburg Bridge. I think I got lost. Next to going to Manhattan <laughs> Bridge. I, I'm, and next I'm to happy going to be to back. Brooklyn Wait. Bridge. And then Battery Park. And then I went to also Wall Street. Nobody. Yes. And I don't know. Uh, it's maybe contrast is beautiful or not beautiful. And I sometimes feel guilt. 700 people dying every day. And then I really connected with medical doctors, nurse is a, you know, kind of a front of, you know, ours. Person did um, Ginger and the Peter, they called me three weeks ago because I'm old, I'm high risk. So they say, I need a food. So they delivered. So then I ask you, could you put the Sun. Miriam Parker lives just maybe five blocks away, and then Miriam will want to have some editing. So uh, this is it's not a project, it's just maybe day by day. Oh, Nikki, I didn't see you so long. How yes. are you doing? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm doing okay, as, as well as uh, possible. and. It's not easy for me. Uh, it hasn't been easy for a lot of people. 
but um, I don't know. I'm trying to find a rhythm day to day. And I, yes, I miss seeing you and I all know, my friends. We miss it every I, day. I haven't been able to touch, <laughs> Can touch, I touch anyone. I love your hand, your dance with your hand. Yes, oh yes. My God. Yeah. And thank you so much for being a part of this sheltering in Nikki yeah. land. And, and then was, also my project, uh, October. Yes. La Mama. And then the, I'm going to see everybody, Pierce and everybody in the La Mama. And then title is a dead end, dead end, the <laughs> school of hard knocks. Yes. So see how it go. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Yoshiko. Thank you, Yoshiko. Thank you, Yoshiko. I want to touch all of you. I would like to touch all your boys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I want to go on and uh, introduce. Can we, can we, Nikki? Can we just reflect on on? Uh, yes, uh, please. Uh, no, just, <laughs> just. I, I love the no, just uh, on on Yoshika wanting to touch all of her boys. I love that uh, <laughs> that idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has a thing about yes, but sometimes she says, "Don't touch my boys." Right. <laughs> Yes. Um, so I will start reading this text now. Manhattan has always been a gathering and trading place for many indigenous peoples, where nations intersected from all four directions since time immemorial. It was a place to gather and sometimes to seek refuge during times of conflict and struggle. The staff of La Mama pays respect to all of their ancestors past, present, to their future generations. We acknowledge that our theater and our work is situated on the island of Manhattan, Menohanet, on the island, traditional lands of the Munsi Lenape, the Canarsi, Unkichog, Matenekak, Shinnecock, Regawank, and the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. We respect that many indigenous people continue to live and work on this island and acknowledge their ongoing contributions to this area. And I do want to say, I think it's necessary to say that Many of our people of color, African American and indigenous Native Americans are suffering mightily during this pandemic crisis. I want to introduce our next wonderful guest who is a playwright. She's a wonderful playwright, performer, and I see her, we see each other walking in the East Village and say hello to each other. And um, uh, she has won many awards for her work. Her work has been seen at many theaters, including Manhattan Theater Club and New York Theater Workshop. And she is currently a recipient of the TCG Fox Fellowship for Resident Actors Round 13. Oh, you wonder why I know so much of this stuff. But um, congratulations, Dale, and thank you so much for being a part of this evening. Dale Orlander Smith. Mm. 
we're in a hard time, but we've all known hard times before and we will get through this. And I know we can get through this. I know I will get through this because I have walked this walk before. Where razor cut glances can slice the skin of the toughest whore. I've heard this rap before, like when you get your first kiss, your first kiss is going to bring music. The music is going to swell and get bigger and bigger, like in Italian movies. I have witnessed this scene before, like when somebody's mother chain smokes while they drink and they talk about when they were young, because when they were young, men dug them, they take a final pull on the drink, the smoke comes out their nostrils, they end the whole rap by saying, my God, ain't life a bitch. I dreamt this somewhere before. I touched the shoes of Mary Magdalene on Avenue D. Blood was flowing from her feet. Spanish dancers were hanging tough outside, outside of shiny aluminum storefronts. Gutted tenements echo another dark, black, nigger future. Phantasmagoria, they call it. Somebody's popping chewing gum. Maybe it's the click of a hooker's shoes pacing the pavement three o'clock in the morning. Lovers are tongue kissing in the doorway and the souls of young boys and young girls trapped underneath the hoods of stolen cars, and love's a rumble. Or maybe love is doing something else, like Neptune on black velvet gloves, simply dancing again. Nikki, thank you so much for having me. And I hope this virtual theater piece poem, you know, adds to the gumbo. And everybody, please be safe and love to everybody. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. Um, were we able to hear Dale's uh, segment, her poem? Uh, yeah. I, okay. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if... <laughs> We're we're having you know we're having a few little uh, technical uh, hiccups here, but that but that's sort of that's you know it's a live event, so uh, you know that's uh, it's a live stream. That's what it's all about. But yeah, you can you can definitely hear everything, Nikki. But you oh, definitely okay, okay. couldn't hear us when we were on the 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 three screen, and I, I was just I was just uh, commenting on uh, Yoshika wanting to touch a touch us boys. Um, oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you can hear about, that. But talking about the boys. Yeah. Uh, Yoko would say to me in mid rehearsal, "Don't touch my boys, Nikki <laughs> Paraiso." <laughs> anyway, um, uh, oh, and did we hear the the land acknowledgement? Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. So I would like to introduce our next lovely, lovely performer, friend, and colleague who I've known since the mid nineties, and. Um, I have seen her, uh, I, I saw her work, I think her solo work first at Dixon Place in the early 90s. And then I uh, asked her to be on this uh, huge program at CS122 um, uh, when Mike Russell was the director there. And it was for one of the benefits. And, um, and also pause. Uh, asked me to create some music and text for one of her dances, which was performed at the Merce Cunningham Dance Studio. Was that 99? Pause. Oh, 99. Let's have pause now. Can we have her now on screen? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yes. Hi, Nikki. Yes, it was nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Yes, and yeah. here you here we are now, and um, you are now in uh, you you have a home in uh, Woodside, Queens, with your husband Todd, and it's a beautiful yeah. beautiful residence place called Topaz Arts. But now yes. you're in San Diego. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, right now I'm in the garage of my parents' house. Um, I unfortunately just, my dad just passed uh, two weeks ago. And um, Todd and I flew out here about a month ago, quarantined, 
put masks on and were able to see my father before he passed on April 15th. Um, so that's why we're here, um, helping out my mom. Um, and actually, the pieces I've been with you um, really helped me. You one last year. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, your piece, Now My Hand, is in my heart. Um, there's a section about your father passing. So thank you. That really helped me through this whole time. Oh, thank you, Paz. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yes. So uh, are you going to perform now? Yeah. I actually had been thinking about this piece um, based on my father. Um, uh, first of all, this this garage here was uh, where I went to high school. My, this house is where I went to high school and college. And uh, this was my painting studio. Didn't look anything like wow. this. But um, I chose this space because it's, um, uh, it's here and I'm here. Um, and it's just been interesting to be here. And thank you for having me be part of this because it's feel so much more connected now um, back to the East Village um, through this. So thank you. Um, the piece that I'm doing, I've been thinking about it be even before my father passed. Um, there was this, he had um, slight dementia before passing and um, there was a story about him uh, dressing, um, getting dressed in the middle of the night and um, trying to go to the airport um, to, uh, I feel like his, all these spirits have been calling him for the last two years. Um, that um, I'm happy that he's finally at peace now. Um, so it's loosely based on that incident where he was trying to go to the airport and trying to get dressed to go to the airport at like 2 a.m., which, you know, um, dementia is a really serious um, disease. And um, during all this time of loss, a lot of, um, a lot of people are going through hard times. But anyway, um, I had been thinking about this image of that. So I'm gonna just, um, I'm doing an improv off of that image. Oh, so. thank you, Paz. Oh, I'm, and I'm so happy you agreed to perform and, and this is such a difficult time for you. But thank yeah. you so much. It's no, thank different. you. Yeah, it's really helped me come out of my little shell. So thank you. Um, so we'll start, yeah. Yes, thank <laughs> okay. you. Okay, thank you.
Paz Tan Joaquio, or Tan Joaquio. Uh, that was beautiful, Paz. Thank you so much. Thank you um, as you mourn the death of your dad. Um, that was a beautiful dance. Mm. Um, uh, we have one more guest, uh, and I'm very excited to have this person come on uh, and be the final performer. Uh, and uh, he's my newest friend and colleague, and uh, his name is uh, Justin Hicks. He is a multidisciplinary artist and performer who uses music and sound to investigate identity and value. And I've heard him sing and it has just um, transported me. So, and I'm sure it will you also uh, listening. And um, uh, Justin has worked with artists, uh, including Abigail DeVille, Kenisa Schall, Michelle Endegiocello, Colleen Smith, Helga Davis, and is a member of the Hot Plates. He has worked with Lynn Nottage also uh, at the Public Theater in Lima's Tale. Oh, maybe he'll tell me what the correct pronunciation of that is. Uh, Hicks was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, and is now based in the Bronx, New York. Please um, here uh, give a warm welcome in your spaces and your apartment to Justin Hicks. where we've taken them cause we don't know cause we don't know there are a few little pockets in the crust if you're looking for us and just Everything will start to unfold gracefully. Everything will start to unfold gracefully. It's so real I could get carried away. It's so real I could get carried away. Behind the matter is a master sizing up my ear before straight to the core. These things are easy, easy when you understand, easy cause you use your Let the night slip in It's so real I could get carried away It's so real I could get carried away Everything will start to unfold gracefully. 
everything will start to unfold gracefully. It's so real I could get carried away. It's so real I could get carried away. Everything will start to unfold gracefully, gracefully, everything gracefully. Is there really love in me, or am I a man of style and nothing in between? Will I understand the things that I'm to be? How can I be learning when I feel so? Is there really love in me, or am I a man of style and nothing in between? Will I understand the thing that I'm to be? How can I be growing when I feel so Oh my God, I am overcome. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I was crying. Maybe, maybe I should do a little bit more of a polite angle and EQ for you. Okay, oh. dry it up and let yes, me. Okay. Oh, Justin, that was so gorgeous. Come Thank you so much. I really gorgeous. appreciate the invitation. I was just telling my, my wife, who's also the puppeteer. <laughs> um, oh, wonderful. That, uh, this is kind of... Um, really cool because I was like, man, if I was in New York all my life, I would have been hanging out with these people forever. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really great. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you so much, Justin. That was so beautiful. And it was, and it was transporting and you brought tears to my eyes. Oh. That's not always easy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And thank you for, for jumping in. And, and and agreeing to be part of this evening. I'm oh, so I moved. Mean, thank you for the invitation. And um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to make it happen again at La Mama. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, My pleasure. And um, well, maybe we'll see some of you a little bit later. <laughs> um, uh, Pierce, are you there? I, I wasn't I'm that here. gorgeous. Wasn't that you. beautiful? It was gorgeous. It was. I had all the pieces were gorgeous. I think I I was particularly uh, Paz's piece really, uh, just sort of I don't know like tore me apart. Yeah. Um. And I mean just uh, I mean it was just a great night, Nikki, in general. And I think this is we can we can say this is a, a world record for Nikki Land because it's now it's eight o'clock. It's only been it's an eight hour. Eight I can't believe it. <laughs> I know it's the world shortest Nikki Land. So, I mean, it's just it's a groundbreaking night, you know. Well, how did you how did you feel about it, Nikki? Your first all digital Nikki Land. Oh my gosh, I was just 
letting it happen. It was just, um, uh, uh, I was just, you know, I had, I, I know all of these artists, and but I, you, what's good is what's so wonderful about them is you never know exactly where they're going to take you next. So with each one of them, John Scott, Yoshiko Chuma, Dale, Orlando Smith, uh, Paz, Tan Huatio, and Justin Hicks. Um, oh, I'm blessed to have had such a group tonight. And um, thank you, La Mama. Thank you, Pierce, Sung Nin. Thank you, Chris. Chris uh, Ignacio, who's been backstage and, and doing a, a whole lot of other stuff. And uh, to Theo Cote, who also helped out. And um, everyone, everyone here at La Mama. Yeah. Absolutely. And just uh, very quickly, we just want to uh, let everybody know, number one, if you enjoyed this, if you liked what you saw here, if you if you love Nikki or myself uh, and you want to support La Mama, uh, and I know it's a difficult time and everyone is is hurting financially uh, and it, and there's there's so many big decisions and, and, and whatnot you have to make. But if you want to support La Mama, if you want to support uh, you know, experimental theater and the type of stuff that we do, uh, you can text La Mama Live, all one word, to 44321. And you can, uh, that will direct you and you can uh, make a donation, which would be greatly appreciated. And also, I just want to say, um, well, I, saw, I like that, Nick. You had your, your glass up there. Uh, <laughs> Well, Where are you? I was going to blow it out. Oh, it's just a candle. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, and before you blow out that candle, um, I just want to say tomorrow, April 29th, we have another live talks with Ryan Leach. That's going to be at 6.30. Uh, Thursday, April 30th, uh, which is our uh, La Mama Kids at 4 p.m., uh, Kathy Shaw, who was recently on uh, uh, Cafe La Mama Live, the one that I curated, uh, I think, what was oh, that, three weeks ago? Too. It's, uh, it's hard to keep track. She'll be uh, doing a puppet workshop uh, at 4 p.m. And Friday, May 1st, at 8 p.m., of course, is Downtown Variety, which is our, uh, it's just our I guess, our, our big, big live stream uh, event. So uh, please tune into all of those. You can find out more if you go to lamama.org. And uh, Nikki, what a, I, it was such a tremendous um, night. Yeah, was, you know, once again, it's so much fun to do these just to spend – uh, a little bit of time with all these people, you know. I, I I can't remember the last time I've seen John Scott perform, and um, I mean, I see, I think I see Yoshiko Chuma almost every day when I'm at work, <laughs> and now, you know, and now it's like I don't get to see her, and it was just you know it's so much fun to see all these people. I know I know that sounds that sounds kind of lame. I, I think I say that every Cafe La Mama, but it's it's wonderful, of course, to see you too, Nick. I see you every day. Oh well, thank you, Pierce, and oh, I just wanted to say, John Scott, you know. He doesn't always perform now because he's he usually choreographs for his dancers. But I'm he's a wonderful, great performer, and that was an excerpt from his piece uh, called Heroes. I just want to make sure that I got that in. But um, <laughs> thank you for uh, 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 being with me and co-hosting uh, this evening, Pierce. And well, of course, done it without you. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, but uh, by your side for an. I don't think I've really ever. I think I've maybe missed one or two Nikki Lands my whole my whole career. Yes, uh, and I was so upset. I know, because I know, I know. To, those, were, those were pretty controversial. Uh, if you missed. Yeah, I you know. were there for most of them. Yeah, yeah most. Of, but I could, I couldn't miss this this monumental, the very first uh, all digital live streaming. Uh, yeah. Nikki. Oh my God, I can't believe that we got through it, but thank you so much. Of course. And thank you to the audience who, if you're still tuned in, thank you so much for um, taking a chance on us. Taking a chance on Good night, land. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sangmin. Oh my gosh. You're perfect.